SwerveRadio.com. Yo, 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 what's happening, my folks? It's your boy DJ Gell right here in the studio for Fresh Fridays once again on SwerveRadio.com. And we got a real special guest over the phone. We couldn't uh, have him in the studio, but we are blessed enough to go ahead and have him right here on the phone. My brother from another mother. Go ahead. Tell him who you are, my man. This is IA the Kamana Classic. Saying Aloha from Hawaii, 808 State, the 50th state. You know how we do Aloha State to the Golden State. Ah, uh, that's right. Right here on Swerve Radio. <laughs> ah, that's right, man. The fam's gonna be uh, telling us all about, you know, his career, his come ups, and also his uh, featured notable work that he's been doing. All right. If you don't know about it, Hawaii's definitely got on lock. Definitely has the game to be told all right but it's uh gonna be sold so you guys gotta pay full price let's go hit up the itunes right now fresh friday is gonna be kicking off your boy dj gail right here on the mic ia gonna be uh over the phone telling us a little bit about himself and about his music all right stay tuned let's go hey yo check it out yeah, yeah. want to listen to swerve radio.com on the go break out your iphone droid or any other smartphone and in your browser simply type mobile.swerveradio.com now you can take us wherever you go please believe it the number one yeah. internet radio station is now on your mobile check it out check it out swerveradio.com get your swerve on all right all right all right we're back once again right here in the studio we got the one and only ia from hawaii that's right the uh, Sunshine State. Is it the Sunshine State, or do you guys got a different motto, actually? Uh, we call it the Aloha State. The Sunshine Aloha State, State, we more so consider California. There we go. I'm tripping over here. What the hell am I saying, you know? <laughs> right and on you're over. from California, too. And I'm from <laughs> California. What What the hell is my problem? I don't know. I'm tripping today. I've had too much sun. Good, That's man. why okay. my brain is fried after all that sun on the lovely week that I had. All right, so right now, we got the one and only IA from Hawaii right here in the studio on the phone. Telling us a little something about himself. And a question that I got for you, my brother, is how did it all happen? Where did it first start, your love for music? And how did you come about getting into the hip-hop game? You know, everyone's got their own story to tell. And just kind of how how did it just progress overall and your influences? Just give it all. Just let the people know. Um, I mean, you know, it all, it all starts from your parents. I mean, my mom, uh, growing up, uh, when we'd be cleaning the house Sundays, you know, she loved music, and uh, she would just play all types of music for us. But, mm-hmm. um, you know, for her, her favorites were like the – she was she was an 80s – I mean, I'm an 80s baby. You know, she, I had a, my mom was young when she had me. She would mm-hmm. play everything from Prince to Michael Jackson to Lisa Lisa. I mean, you know, everybody who was kind of popular in the 80s. I mean, and that just – my overall love for music was right there, you know, just cleaning the house on Sundays, doing that family thing, family chores – and us to sing along with mom, you know what I mean? You know, they say you're a product of your parents, and you know what I mean? Like, that's just, just the overall love for music just started right there, I mean, with my mom. So thank you to my mom out there. Mm-hmm. Um, and then as far as hip-hop goes, um, my uncle, he was actually a, an MC back in the day, and um, coming, off, coming out of Hawaii, believe it or not. And um, the thing that got me going was, you know, he was doing it, and, you know, he's like the cool uncle too, so... I look always looked up to him. He was like the MC. He was the basketball player. You know, he was he was doing things that I was into growing up. Right, right. And as an MC, as an MC, they had an incredible opportunity. Him and his group coming from Hawaii, they sent an audition tape to a uh, house party. I think it was house party four when they were in college, um, and they got an opportunity to audition for the movie. And um, I mean, I was just so inspired, you know, for for a group from Hawaii to do that. And just you know, I was listening to their music and that's pretty much how I got into it. Um, same thing with my, my same uncle there who was, who was emceeing and stuff like that. He actually, the, the way I got into hip hop, he actually gave me all his tapes in back in the day, you know, when we still had cassette tapes. I don't even remember that girl, right? I, I remember that. I don't know if the newer generation, I don't know if I held a cassette tape to my niece or nephew. They might be like, what's this? I don't know what to do with it. But my generation, <laughs> I remember, I remember that most definitely. Exactly. Yeah. He gave me all his, his doubles of a lot of his tapes. I mean, he gave me, um, LL Cool J was, was one of his favorite artists. He gave me, okay. um, Bigger and Deffer, Walking with the Panther. I remember those, um, he had Rex and Effect. So those were like my early influences, LL Cool J. I still look up to him today as a, um, as an artist, as a, just a whole business model. You know what I mean? He took it to every aspect of, of how to market yourself in the game mm-hmm. and just take your, your brand beyond the music. Um, 
but because I grew up in era and and my my uncle was into into hip hop back in those days, I'm still heavily influenced by the older old school cats. Um, my favorite MC is Rakim, um, LL Cool J. I'd say my top five would be Rakim, LL Cool J, Jay Z, Biggie, and DMX. Damn, that's what's up. You know, the old school definitely showing a lot of love and respect for the old school right there on that one. I respect it. Yeah, definitely. You know what they say, man. You don't know where you're going if you don't know where you came from. I feel. It. I, I, feel I don't, don't want to sound like a, I don't want to sound like a grandpa or nothing like that or uncle. I mean, because I, I do like <laughs> a lot of the new cats coming up too. Yeah. I mean, you know, especially out, especially out in the bay, man. You guys got a lot of there's a lot of talent coming out of the bay, and people, oh, yes. you know, saying this right now on Sword of Radio, you guys got to watch out for the Hawaii hip hop scene. We got a lot of talent out here, and um, definitely, I mean, DJ Gell's just an opportunity given given us guys out here in Hawaii to be showing the um, mainland what we got. Hey, it's all good. It's all good. I show love to the family and to good music. Swerve Radio in general, we definitely got good music on lock, and we definitely show the love to all the good artists that are hustling. If you got music, but you're not hustling, you're not putting your name out there, there's nothing we could do. And you know what? I is doing it. So uh, where's everybody else at? You know, buying the dust. That's all it is. There you go. Mm-hmm. Cool. So as far as uh, as far as far now, where would you say you're at now? Compared to uh, when when you were younger, when you first started, when you first started rapping, how how far would you say you've grown, you've progressed? Would you say that you've noticed a big change, or are you still very uh, are you still very tied into the into the roots that you had as uh, from when you first started? Um, you know what? I first actually started rapping and writing my rhymes when I was, I'd say like in middle school, mm -hmm. um, high school. And I got, you know, I was a little more confident in myself. I would battle people in school and stuff like that. Um, and it, it was just all about finding myself. I definitely, at this point in my career, um, I find myself, you know, a lot much more mature because I, I, I rooted myself with the original, you know what I mean? The old school and how those guys came up and I just took, take everything I learned positively and, um, business models and, and putting my own spin on it, Hawaii spin on it. You know what I mean? Yes. Everybody reps where they're from. You got the South, you know, they talk about the South all day, the East Coast, Midwest, West Coast. Everybody has their own style. So, you know, why not Hawaii? Why can't we talk about our culture just like how everybody else does it? You know, even Puerto Rico gets down. Right. So, yeah, just my thing. There you go. There we have it right there. IA showing you what he's about, telling you how it all started out. All right, we're going to go ahead and take a quick uh, little break right now, and then we'll get right back in with the one and only IA from Hawaii, HI, all the way to the base of Las Vegas and everywhere else. We're doing it right now. Stay tuned. You know we stay dropping that hip hop. Tune cheese back. Tune cheese back. As all these if just screaming that. Tune cheese back. And the hottest R&B. Set you playing yeah, I'm doing it real, real big. You know what I'm saying? So I figured I'd holler. You know what I'm saying? It's your girl, Nicki Minaj. It's going down like ditches. Your favorite radio station worldwide. SwerveRadio.com. Let's go. Yo, and we're back right here. SwerveRadio.com. Fresh Fridays in full effect with your boy, DJ Gell. As always, holler at me on my Twitter at DJ Gell. That's DJ G-U-E-L. Right now, we're in the studio with uh, the one and only IA from Hawaii, from the islands. All right, right here in the uh, studio. Got him on the phone. Go ahead, say what's up, my brother. Aloha, everybody. Yo, what's up? Big uh, mahalos. Big mahalos. Big, uh, how you doing? That's what it is, all right? Saying hello. So uh, we're right here in the studio talking with him, uh, seeing what's good with the new upcoming work that he's doing and also previous work. So I tell the people, you know, what have you been doing since you've been doing this rapping game? Uh, just kind of... What have you been pushing out? What have you been giving the people? And also, what are you uh, up to nowadays? Oh, well, man, I've been uh, going hard um, out in the scene out here in Hawaii since uh, 2005. So I'm going on my, my seventh year, pretty much. Um, and it's looking back, I mean, getting all these flashbacks now. I'm on my, it's my fourth album coming out, Flight 808. Um, actually, make sure you go and get that on iTunes, released uh, June 24th. Make sure everybody picks that up. Mm -hmm. um, Make sure you're all. Yeah, ever since I. Oh my bad. My ever bad. since I started, man. No, you're good. You're good. Um, ever <laughs> since I started in 05, I mean, I I I jumped on the scene. I mean, 
I was I was going 300 miles per hour. You know, and I I knew what I wanted, knew my goals. Um, luckily, I was I was out here and I linked up with a local group out here called BET. Um, shout out to them. They're a, a big reggae group. I said, let me do a collaboration with them, and um, it got it started getting a regular rotation on the radio stations here, and that's pretty much what started off my career doing music videos. Um, that led to big performances out here. I was I was blessed to have the opportunity to open up for Chris Brown, um, Neo, mm-hmm. um, do stuff with the Jabwalkies, Bone Thugs and Harmony, um, a lot a lot of uh, sports events. Um, I even I even shared the stage with uh, Drake and Lil Wayne when they came out here. Um, Drake so, and Weezy. I mean, I, How many people have been Drake doing and Weezy? That, man? IA's been doing that. <laughs> He's about it. He's about this life. Where are you guys at? <laughs> Got my shock up all day too, man. We're making all those guys throw uh, shockers up. Chris Brown, Neo. Um, go check out the pictures on my website, ia808.com, man. You'll see them. All the guys who come out here showing aloha. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, man, fourth album. I'm on my fourth album, uh, Flight 808. Yes. So hopefully everybody likes this one. I'm I, slowly as my my albums come out. I'm um, doing a hip hop in a Hawaii perspective. So as I get deeper and deeper into the projects. Uh, if you, for the music and hear my story i'm i'm just trying to make it easier for the everyday listener from the mainland or worldwide to make it more consumable you know with the hawaii culture right right and also uh one thing one thing that i want to throw out there that i found this uh really interesting when i was reading the bio and uh reading a little bit uh up on you was uh that all your music is family friendly it's all clean no uh no explicit material it's all positive. You know, that's a lot of artists nowadays. Whatever your flow is, you know, whatever you feel like you want to go with, you know, some people choose to go, which is right now the mainstream thing, you know, to talk about money and you know, not so much violence. But, I mean, there's violence mixed in at the same time. But you uh, kind of went the other way, you know, and you went the positive way uh, or, excuse me, you went with hip hop on a positive message. I should I should put that right there. And uh that's that's one thing that caught my attention when when I was reading up on that. I mean, yeah, man, I mean, I, I'm I just want to keep it real to myself, keep it true to myself, you know. <clears throat> I ain't no hustler. I mean, I, I hustle my music, but you know, I don't sell drugs. You know, I don't I don't I don't, I don't own a gun. Um I I ain't no no gangs. You know, honestly, to tell you the truth, I mean, what a lot of people don't know um is that my dad was a a world boxing champion. So, um, mm-hmm. you know, he, had, he kept a nice, clean name, clean record. Um, you know, I just want to keep that in the family. You know what I mean? Um, everything I talk about is about the Hawaii culture, you know, good and bad. I want to shed some light on everything. But um, my biggest influence is Rakim. Rakim was one of the dopest MCs of all time. And you never heard that dude swear once in his rhymes. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I That's feel like right. I don't got to take that level. For me, for my style, for what I, how I want to portray myself, right, you know, course. I, I I look up to Rakim, and um, I'm a dad too. You know what I mean. So I don't need my kids running around, you know, saying stuff that I don't. I don't be saying. You know what I mean. So right. Put in a put in a positive outlook for for the young generation and for your children as well. So you know what, big props there to you. you. There's a lot of people that you know they go the other way. It's all good, you know. Whatever pays the bills, whatever you're feeling, but you got to show. There's no way you can't show. Uh, love and support and appreciation for people that go um, the way that you're going. I mean, there's no way that you could try to diss that and say, oh, you know, whatever, that's weak. Really, you want to go? You yeah, want to go down that I mean, route? Really? Really? Come on now. Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't, it's not, I, no, not against anybody else. You know, nothing against anybody else's music. Everybody has their own path, their own lane. That's yeah. just the, the lane I chose. You know what I mean? That's what's up. Um, so uh, another thing that uh, I want to throw out as well is we were talking about this earlier, but you got to, uh, you got to share the story, man. The double XL, uh, that you were telling me about earlier today was, uh, was, uh, that your name was featured or your name was mentioned in, excuse me, uh, the double XL of, uh, what, how long ago was this? When was this? Um, this Around? was actually two, 2000 and, 2010. I, I believe it was, uh, the February March issue is uh, Drake and Nicki Minaj on the cover. Mm. All right, so hold on. You got you got to tell the people about this because I was still blown away. It wasn't even my name, but also blown away. I was like, "What?" You know, 
I was kind of blown away <laughs> when I saw that, you know, you had been opening for like Chris Brown and Drake and doing acts like that. And then I saw the double XL thing. And I don't know, I just kind of, I was like, oh man, you know, I is really doing it. <laughs> oh man, I mean, it was definitely a blessing. Um, um, They did an article in the double XL um, on a lot of uh, MCs and a lot of big name artists mm-hmm. doing their recordings out here, you know, um, and they're just talking about it, you know, Kanye West, Dr. Dre, Eminem, Jay-Z, a lot of them be coming out here to Hawaii. I guess it's more of a metal atmosphere, but there's a big recording studio out here. Um, Island Sound Studio, shout out mm-hmm. to them um, for bringing out big talents like that and having them record. Um, and XXL covered a section on that. And um, they put also a section in there of, I guess, you know, what popular things in Hawaii as far as restaurants, clubs, um, shopping malls. And um, under the artist, they, they put me as under, you know, Hawaii's hottest, hottest artist. And um, I, when I see... I, my name in there was it was a blessing because you know I grew up reading in XXL. I mean, it was yeah. a dream come true. I actually had no idea. My sister who who goes to college in um, San Diego, she calls me up screaming, um, and I thought something was wrong. And then she's telling me that my name is in the XXL, and I didn't even believe it. You know, like we talked about earlier, Gail. Right. It's like almost one of those things you gotta look at it, go to sleep, wake up again, and and yes. then you'll believe it. <laughs> it was crazy. Man, so big cool. shout out to XXL. You know. Shout out to them for showing love to Hawaii. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Hey, shout out to, is it your big sister, little sister that uh, caught it? Oh, uh, my little sister. Little Jay, sister. yeah, she's over in, uh, she goes to San Diego State. So shout out to everybody in San Diego. Yeah, shout out to little sister out there that caught that and just called and just gave gave a whole awakening. An awakening there to you Hawaii go. on that one right there. That's, that's definitely what's yep. up, man. Good stuff right there. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, be right back. Going to get right back into the music. We got the homie IA right here in the studio over the phone talking a little bit about his music and about his life and his whole career. Don't go nowhere. We're going to go ahead and keep moving. From the East Coast. Yeah, y'all. This is Jay-Z. To the Midwest. Hey, yo. This is Eminem. The Dirty South. What up? This is Ludacris. And the West Coast. Yo, what's up? This is Too Short. People are tuning in all over the world. You know what it is. SwerveRadio.com, baby. DJ Gell back at it once again. And we will be shutting it down in just a few. But before we do, we got the homie IA right here all the way from the islands, Hawaii. All right. He's uh, doing the whole interview. It's over now. But before we go, some last few things, man. Go ahead. Tell them where they can find you at, where they can find your music at. And go ahead and take us out, my brother. All right. I just got to give a big mahalo to everybody at Swerve Radio giving me the opportunity all the way from Hawaii to um, get some shine out there. Uh, Shout out to all the listeners out there. Make sure you uh, keep your ears open. Hawaii hip-hop is definitely coming. Uh, we got a lot of talent out here. Shout out to uh, DJ Gale, the cousin over there, representing over in the Bay. All the family, uh, SBC also in the Bay. Shout out to them. Um, all the family in California. Um, just make sure you come check me out, ia808.com. Uh, check me out online. Uh, any social networking site, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, SoundCloud, you name it, um, slash ia808. That's all you got to remember, IA808, mm. okay? So you want to get a, a nice glimpse of Hawaii on a hip-hop perspective. Get you some of that aloha. Mm-hmm. That's right. And then uh, you guys could always, of course, if you're ever in Hawaii, check them out. Say hello. You know, maybe go to one of the shows. It's all good. The family definitely shows love. Right back. All right? So there we go. The homie IA, all the way from Hawaii, right here on SwerveRadio.com, the only place to get all the newest news and all the latest updates on your uh, hip-hop and R&B community, all right? So there we go. Fresh Fridays for you. DJ Gell leaving. We'll, we'll be back once again next week, 1 to 2 p.m. That's Pacific Standard Time right here. Fresh Friday, Swerve Radio. Adios. Every day, all day. SwerveRadio.com.